for the book questers, it is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I'm introducing to this almighty book, Arlo Finch and the Lake of the Moon, by John August himself. This is the second book of the Arlo Finch series, and it is the sequel to Arlo Finch in the Valley of Fire. And in this one, Arlo finds out that he, that in Pine Mountain, there, there is a world, a world beyond the world. There is a different dimension, and there is the long woods that go everywhere. And the long woods itself has powers. It has, it gives you, it can give, if you learn how to use the wonderful magic inside the long woods, you can do impossible things. And that's what he was learned, and he, he, was, he knew that someone had sent a hack, which is like a witch, to kill him. And, and I did a book poster on number one too, so you might as well watch it, because you won't understand the thing I'm saying if you don't read the first book, or just simply watch my review. That's that. Arlo Finch in the Lake of the Moon. So, some legends are real, I'm guessing. One day, Ar Arlo Finch and Indra and Wu are going to summer camp. Are going to camp, and at this camp, they uh, they are um having having a camp, obviously, and they're having some fun, I guess. And uh, it's Rangers camp, so they learn to do impossible things, such and such. And then Arlo thinks that. There's a doppelganger among them. A doppelganger is someone is a monster that can become someone that can shape shift, and this is quite unsettling because he doesn't know who to trust. And yeah, and all of Finch. <laughs> Not so much. Anyway, also when he goes there, the Thomas, a, a boy named Thomas, is asked to join Blue, uh, to join the patrol, and when when and then they find out that that Connor has had was sick, so Wu had to be elected as an emergency camp of the patrol leader, and and as they hear the the story. Of the mighty Ephacus, who lived in apparently Red Feather Lake, and and he was last sighted, and they saw, and there were some kind of, there were actually some kind of um evidence, footprints and stuff like that, but it could easily have been a hoax, but obviously some legends are real. So Arlo Finch. Um, goes canoeing in that, in that little, in that, in the Red Feather Lake, and there, he sucked into a time hole thingy, and it seems to be a hole of time, and right now, we don't know who the bad guy is, we don't know who the good guy is, they can only trust themselves, and that gives us a thrilling moment. Anyway, look at this. It is um that's Ephacus. And we'll learn about more more about it later. So so Arlo goes to this goes to the past where Uncle Wade was still was still there and he was in Yellow Castle. And there Uncle Wade, him uh, him and they all went to this to to zoo to Giant's Fist. It's an island. And there they find there's a little cave there, so they go inside it, and they go to drink, drink cola and stuff like that, and mess around, obviously. And then, there they find out that number one, the cave's back is like a hologram, and they can just put their hands through it. And so they went inside, and they found spirit. Hundreds and hundreds of spirits. They had met Big Breezy, a, a, spirit, a wind spirit, to lay, uh, early on. But these spirits, hundreds of them. And in the middle, there was Ephacus. Ephacus the serpent. 
and it stood there majestic with all the other spirits. And there, and then, the Eldritch came. The Eldritch were actually giants who had power coming out of their magical looking staffs. And they, and they tried to take Arlo, or who tried to take Arlo's knife, which he had just got, which he had just got, and and they were very angry. They shot at Arlo, attacked Arlo, and Arlo almost barely got out alive. But Big Breezy came. Big Breezy, who the wind spirit came, and it was angry. It pushed the elders, attacked them, and they started to attack Big Breezy too. And that is a very, very um, bad moment. Bad moment because all the bad guys, these bad, uh, the I don't know, like the Eldritch, um, whip, um, gets all these cords, and and they're there and Big Breeze is binded. And Arlo uses his magical knife that he found. He just found, and he realized it was one of the things that could cut through the Eldritch's magical lines that they use to capture spirits. So he slices it like this, slice, 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 and and he managed to rescue Big Breezy. And the fox, the the mysterious man who had come who had come to him at the end of Arlo Finch in the Valley of Fire, and and it it came and it told him he was the spirit of the foxes, and he told Arlo. That once upon a time, the Eldritch captured a mighty spirit. That, that the Eldritch actually used spirits to power their cities. They, it's like electricity, a uh, uh, amount of electricity, and that just sounds evil because I mean, come on, they're spirits, innocent spirits, and spirits indeed. And they captured the biggest spirit they ever saw, and they thought that it could power their city almost forever. But then what they didn't know was well, those were two, actually two spirits, a focus and another spirit. And those two spirits were the spirit of space and time. They were the mighty and they broke the Eldritch's bonds and escaped, destroying the bridge that connected our world, the human world, with the Eldritch world. And that was the end of that story. And Arlo ha and Hadrian. I have to talk about Hadrian, I guess. Um when when Arlo was still at at Pine Mountain, the Hadrian, a man named Hadrian came and told Arlo that said that he was the only kid, only person that could help him. And now and they were suspecting there was a doppelganger in their midst. But it was not, it was Thomas. So Hadrian was actually Thomas a long, long, long time ago, and he, and so he could turn, and he also ate a double gang of heart, <laughs> so that he could turn, shape, shift into something else. And Hadrian was the real villain in the story. And Hadrian kidnaps Arlo, and then see Arlo, who could do impossible things, was asked to find something. And Arlo refused, and he said, "Choose between one best friend, Wu or Indra." And so, 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 or she could just help him. And she was threatened, so he had no choice but to say yes. And and then Hadrian, um, and then Hadrian and Arlo had a trick because he covered Hadrian with peanut butter, and peanut butter attracted these things called howlers, and these howlers attacked Hadrian. And Hadrian was dragged away by the Eldritch. Don't ask me how. Read the book and you'll know it specifically. And the book ends with Arlo Finch going through another incredibly dangerous adventure. And, he, and him thinking, are the Eldritch evil? Hmm, I think so. And Riel, the Connor's sister who, had, who was living with the Eldritch, said, you don't understand. But she thought she did understand, and Riel said she, she was the same. But then she didn't know. She didn't get it all out at all. And that's the end of this mysterious, thrilling, and mind-boosting book. And it's an incredibly good read. And 
like always, the bookquester and the bookquester.